Hi guys, Charles on Reactions, and this video I'm going to react to the season 1 finale of Babylon 5. If you're interested in full reactions and early access, you can check that out on my Patreon. Let's get into it. These unprovoked attacks must stop. The attacks will stop when the Centauri government stops sending hostile ships across the border into non-space. Quadrant 37 is neutral territory. The treaty makes that perfectly clear. The non-government no longer recognizes the treaty since it was imposed upon our people by force. But what was the date though? December 30th, I believe? Why are we getting it? You gotta stop him. They're gonna kill him. Them? Him. Who is the them? Kill. Who is the him? Gonna kill who? Sinclair? Petra. I'm gonna guess Petra. Sinclair. His name's Chrysalis? Chrysalis? The episode title is Chrysalis. Not a bad guy, just somebody who got in over Are we gonna turn- are gonna have some cocoons? Shit. Pay the favor. Since then he's been working for me as an informant in Down Below. Kill who? I don't know. I think you, Sinclair! I'll find out. After which, the president and his escort left the Mars colony on a goodwill tour of the outer oh, the president. colonies. You got any plans for New Year's Eve yet? Turn into a cocoon? Well, Become I'm a butterfly? And... This time I think we finally got it right. So, now with the new year coming, I've been going over to my shed and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, do you want to get married or don't you? <laughs> That's how you... <laughs> you want to get married or don't you? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> good. <laughs> I thought you were going to knee or something, but I guess it's a little bit too cheesy. Wait, Via, let me see. Yeah, oh yes, no! I, I was so hoping it was not him. The, eye is still safe. the voice already sounded creepy. No. What is it? You have a problem, Ambassador. I believe I can help, but I think we should meet. No, 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 no meetings. No meetings. I'll be there. Oh, one more thing. I never caught your name. Morden. See you in an hour. Ah shit! Of course, we'll be back for the finale. The day. Are the day the shadows? Did you see Ambassador Koch? I did. Did you relay my question precisely? Word for word. I did. His reaction? Just one word. He said, yes. Wait for me. You gonna fill me in? Last time I saw Petrov was just before he went looking for you. Whatever you saw, whatever you knew, scared him half to death. But I took care of the other half. Oh wow. Have I already said that I hate mazes? <laughs> you have a problem, Ambassador Malai. Quadrant 37? We can fix it for you if you let us. A heavily guarded, non- And how would you fix outpost. it, huh? What is the price for this help? No price, Ambassador. But at some point in the future, if we deliver on our promises, we may come to you and ask you for a favor. That's all. Ask. More like demand. They won't give you a chance to say no. I must know if it's true. Mm. I must see with my own eyes. Thank you. What? Now I will keep the promise. You will not see me again. As I am now. Oh, what do you mean, as I am now? Are you going to reincarnate? What the fuck the fuck is going on? December 31st. 30 31st. 30 I don't even know. I can't talk. Ugh. Gosh. Did he just like reveal his true form? But how would that confirm? Her, I don't know. What is the promise? Confused. I understand you hired a lurker recently. Name of Steven Petrov? I hire a lot of people. Names, faces, I don't keep track. Fine. Then you'll come down. Big mistake, hot shot. You shouldn't poke around in things you don't understand. This is too big for you. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. Not as big as your ego. I'm shaking in my boots. Now move it. They want to know if you've relayed their decision to the advisory council. No. No, I haven't. 
and I'm not going to. Ah, that should go over well. Send a reply to Homeworld. Tell them that I will personally take care of the problem in Quadrant 36. Oh, oh big no. mistake. What? Commander, it's late. I know. I just thought I'd try once more to settle the Quadrant 37 situation. I'm afraid the Ambassador is resting. He's rather fatigued from his heavy schedule. Perhaps if you came back. <sighs> the timing of it all. <laughs> his face. <laughs> I believe the Ambassador can see you now. <laughs> You were sitting there while there's only like a curtain. You once told me that before the Centauri came, Narn was an agrarian world, a peaceful world. In order to be free, you had to learn to fight. No one questions that, but you've overcompensated. You're like abused children who've grown big enough to do the same thing to someone else, as if that'll somehow balance the scales. It won't. If you let your anger cloud your judgment, it'll destroy you. There's still time to choose another path. You can be part of that process, Chikar. Choose wisely. Not just for the Centauri, but for the good of your own people as well. We all do what we have to. It's late. Please go. It's not very promising. We need you to do a job for us. No problem. Give me the guy's name and I'll lean on him. Not that kind of job. <laughs> I think the official title is best man. Best. You too? And I'll need a maid of honor. I don't really know anyone here, so if you wouldn't mind... I'd be honored. Congratulations. I just wanted you to know, I've always been proud to be your friend, Jeff. And I'm honored to be your best man. Hell, I'm honored to be best at anything. <laughs> <laughs> what? Chief, the prisoner you brought in, Edgar Devereaux, he's missing. Missing? How the hell? He's missing. I don't know, sir, he's just gone. Is every gone guard incompetent? Sector is clear. Acknowledged. Report to base. Uh oh. Repeat. It's already start. Eeeh, not again. Ah, 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 I don't like it. Eeeh. It's so fucking disturbing to me. I don't know. It barely takes them seconds. Seconds. Gee, they look like big freaking black spiders. Doing for oh my god, Negative. man. That's the gold channel frequency for Earth Force One. Why would someone want to jam the president's? Oh my god. Yep. Garibaldi to Sinclair. Sinclair here. Commander, we've got a problem. <laughs> Ultraviolet priority. Meet me in the briefing room in 20 minutes. What is it? Not over the link. I'll tell you when I see you. Guard those boxes with your life. Don't let anything happen to them. Will do. But aren't you one of the bad guys? This is Blue Alpha. Fuck's Stand sake. By. I, you should have just told Sinclair. I told you not to poke around in things that are too big for you. Yeah, well, it's a little late for that. Now up against the wall. I think not. Behind you. <gasps> oh, oh! No! Okay, no, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's bad. No, he's not dead. No, he fucking not be dead. No. He's not. If he is, it's temporarily. No, 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 fuck. I thought, I, I don't know, somehow I thought they would just knock him out, which wouldn't make sense, but I just assumed he would get knock on his head, you know? You remember what happened at the Battle of the Line, don't you? Now you're gonna come out with this? You remember being taken aboard our ship? Only a little. Fragments, images. I don't know what it all means. I suspected as much. We have a lot to discuss. Garibaldi. But we have to save Garibaldi first. I'm putting both our lives at risk. Come to my quarters, and I'll tell you as much as I can. But don't wait too long, Commander. Certain things have been set in motion, and I do not have much time. What? <laughs> Jesus, thank fuck. 10,000 of our best warriors dead. It's as if some great hand reached out of space and just erased them. It wasn't the humans. The Centauri don't have the will. The Vorlons don't care. Minbari wouldn't do it. The other worlds aren't powerful enough for a strike like this. There's someone else out there, Natal. 
make it something. Are you sure there's no other way? What must happen will happen. Valen said this day would come. Who are we to stand in the way of prophecy? But what if you're wrong? Then speak well of me when I'm gone. You believe me you're going to be reborn, right? So if you're wrong, you would just be dead. If he comes, it must be soon. We have little time. Because what, if you're gonna be reborn, you don't have your memories anymore, and then you can't tell him? I'm going to... going to kill the president. At the transfer point. And I Warn. Warn. We're losing him. Stand by on Morphazine. Let's get those injectors ready. Let's go. Move, move, move. Take away here. Come across. He won't be able to get the answers from Dolin. Has to stop this shit. It's a site guaranteed to impress voters. <sighs> we won't stop this. We'll have a very impressive uh, Conventional view. channels are being jammed. According to ISN sources in Earth Dome, the speech is expected to contain. Just a minute. We're picking up an emergency signal now. They succeeded? Are, are we still near? There's always the chance whoever started this job will try to finish it. I won't allow that to happen. Understood. Understood. Oh. came to tell him that there seems little point to another council meeting to discuss Quadrant 37. We imagine you've heard by now. Yes, a little while ago. Any clues yet as to who did it? No. None. My condolences on the death of your president. This has been a black day for both of us, Lieutenant Commander Ivanova. A black and terrible day. We will find whoever is responsible for the destruction of our base. And we will retaliate. They've noticed you, Ambassador. Which was the point of the exercise. I hear they have great plans for you. Is 10,000 in cold blood? Ambassador, you're a hero. Enjoy it. Don't use that term. I'll be around. Everything we found points to a malfunction in Earth Force One's fusion reactor. It was an accident. Senator, Come on. My chief of security was shot in the course of an investigation. He's lying in the isolab right now. And it's even money as to whether or not he ever walks out again. The last thing he said was that they were going to kill the president. Commander, I consider it very unlikely that your security chief would just stumble across something our best agents didn't know about. You want to stumble on this? I am listening, Commander. What's up? I found those men the commander's been looking for. Tried to take them in for questioning. They resisted. Lee guy took a shot at me. Return fire. Self-defense. Fuck, man. The PPG's cold. If he'd fired, it'd still be warm. You have a point to make? We will begin by focusing more on the needs of our own people. Own people? To sustain them through this difficult time. And to prepare them for the tasks ahead. And so it begins. What? You have forgotten something. To land. It's too late. It's too late. You won't get your answers. You're too late. Uh. I thought we were like talking in metaphors, not literally. What is it? A chrysalis. <laughs> she is changing. I was focused on the wrong what? people when it first was I mentioned. Don't know. Tell the commander he was right. We were at a crossroads, and there is no going back. Mm. Expect me when you see me. Well, if you don't mind, I would like to wait with you. He is an annoying man, but I would miss him if he... But he won't.
Yes. What? I think the it's actual fuck? It's perfect for our needs. Ambassador Malari will do exactly as we wish. Destiny is on our side. Uh, the shadow people! Nothing's the same anymore. Alright, this was the season 1 finale of Babylon 5 and it was very intense, but yet again a great episode and a great way to end the season, which again I think was pretty solid. I thought it was a very good season, uh, I addressed it before, personally I don't agree with having to skip episodes or you know that episodes weren't you know necessary or anything, no, I think you know that you should indeed watch every episode um, and I think it only you know, helped make this show, you know, really grow with me and make me, you know, a huge fan of it as well. Uh, I definitely had some trouble breathing watching this episode. I'm still kind of like, <laughs> it was so tense. Mm. And uh, yeah, like they said at the end, uh, nothing, uh, nothing is the same anymore. But first of all, let me just say, Garibaldi is going to survive this. He's not going to die. He is not going to die. But I'm very worried because, yeah, obviously I would be very, very extremely happy if he will pull through, if he will survive this. But I'm very worried about what kind of consequences will have for him. I'm very worried about his, about his, uh, I guess his revalidation uh, process. I'm worried that he will maybe, you know, grab the bottle. Again, after not only, you know, not only just because of the literal physical pain, but mainly because I'm worried that he will feel guilty that he wasn't able to stop the assassination of the president. You know, that he will feel like, you know, that he messed up. That if he did things another way, that they would have been in time and then it would have prevented all of this. I'm very worried. Um, we've seen him throughout season one. We've seen multiple. We have seen like multiple character studies of him, um, and we know that he's already carrying a lot of guilt inside of him. And now we added this as well. And then you know, <laughs> not that I'm gonna forget this, but then obviously with all of this, you know, the president dying, Garibaldi. Maybe dying, which won't happen. We also have this whole... I'm gonna get to the Shadows later, but we also have the whole chrys Chrysalis thing. I just can't. I really assumed uh, when it was first mentioned in the show that it was regarding Sinclair. I didn't think it was regarding the Lynn herself. She is the one inside this Chrysalis now. And I'm still, you know, I, you know she's gonna be born. Get reborn get reborn or something and um, i'm pretty sure she won't have i mean won't she have any memories or only those memories i don't know that's another thing i was thinking of like i, I did say like oh she's not gonna remember so that's why she can't tell uh sinclair about what has happened to him and why it has happened to him or i guess tell him about his prophecy but the longer i think about it the more i'm like wait a minute like, why would they just... Why would only be, like, a few specific memories be gone? It makes more sense if a whole memories would be removed. Which makes me very uncomfortable, especially thinking about the previous one. I mean, then she wouldn't really be the Linda anymore, right? No memories at all? I don't know. Maybe it's up to a certain point? I have no idea. I'm really curious, but also scared to find out what this all means. But at the same time, also, why was this necessary? Why does she need to be reborn? And this was her promise towards Kosh? Why does Kosh want this? Is her... Is this reincarnation thing... Or re being reborn thing... Is it necessary in order for Sinclair to fulfill his prophecy? Because, um... 
in episode 20, she was standing a little bit off screen. You know, St. Clair was older, he had the scar on his cheek, he was the one at that point. Seems that she is kind of his, I guess, more of his right hand. Can she fulfill that position without being reborn? But also, I almost forgot, I mean, we did learn that the Membari believed that like, yeah, they, they believe in reincarnated being reborn. And, and I mean, they believe in, I guess, if you pass away and then this person, how do I say it? Like, the, 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 the knowledge in the past, what these people had, they keep being added to, like, other people. If if their souls would be, like, stolen, but, like, with this soul hunter, then this would um, greatly impact the next generation. They wouldn't have that. Oh, God, I'm so bad at explaining so maybe that's the thing. Maybe she's being reborn, she's gonna get some knowledge or something of previous Minbaris, which is gonna give her what, her what she needs or what she thinks she needs in order to be that first in Claire. Am I making any sense? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying here. Okay, I'm trying. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. Why else would she have to make this promise? And I can I can understand that she wants some kind of confirmation that this is indeed the right path to make this all happen. Um, and although I can't see why, you know, God showing his self would confirm this, I have no idea. I have no idea. So... Still very intrigued, but, you know, just as the usual, Babylon 5 style, even have, you know, I even have more questions now. And then, you know, uh, we also had the shadows again. Yay! And not just the ships with, uh, but we also saw, I guess, the shadow people? What? I don't even know. Is that what they really look like? Or do they just happen to, I don't know. We, we saw the shadow people. <laughs> And uh, what's this? What's this mofo's name? Morden was having the, this little talk with them, and he was um, reassuring them that hey, you know, um, that Londo is perfect for their needs, and that uh, he will do exactly what you know what they need. But we, he was referring as we because he includes himself uh, to do that. He's going to do exactly what they want, and that destiny is on their side. I'm like, what? what? Destiny is on their side. So, what kind of prof? I, I don't also believe in some kind of prophecy. Is this some fight of prophecies? You're like, yeah, this is all prophecy. This is their prophecy, but all prof prophecy is superior. Destiny is on their side. Hell no, better not be. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. I just meant like, oh, you know, we're on the winning end of this. The winning side, I mean. We saw the shadow ships, and it took them. Only a couple of seconds to kill 10,000, 10,000 Narn people. 10,000. I'm just curious why with the power that they have and killing so many people, like military people, in that amount of time, why they are not already outright killing everyone in their way? It seems that they're that their powers are limited. What exactly do they want? And why can't they do it now? That makes me even more worried. Because to me it seems that they can already do whatever the fuck they want. They're extremely powerful. So. What exactly do they want? I mean. Yeah they want. They, they want. Um, Londo to be in a higher position. In his. In this entire world. Centauri world, but still, what do they want? Is there something, some knowledge that they need that they can't get with, with just outright killing everyone? And then again, it's not that they specifically were looking for the Centauri. I mean, he was just asking those questions to every one of the ambassadors, and he just happened to give the answer that they liked. So I don't, I don't know. They just want to, do they just want to like, I guess, redesign the whole... Yeah, just want to redesign the whole universe. I mean, I did say before they want things the way... Maybe they want things to be the way it was before. And, yeah. But still, why would they... Why could they just kill people and kill them? Uh, and force them to do what they want otherwise? Ah, uh, so many questions. <laughs> mm. But yeah, uh, they are a huge threat. And I'm just worried for when... 
all the safety wheels are gonna be off and they're just going they just gonna go full on you know attacking everything because uh, i don't really see how we would all stand a chance and then also because the president is now killed we, we now have a president who is clearly not in favor of making sure that you know people and like all people not just humans but also aliens we will all i guess live together um be like yeah like be one i guess to be cheesy about it um no th this one is, is very made it clear already that he wants to just be focused on their own people just on humans i don't think he's gonna be a big support for babylon 5 so that also doesn't help and it would also fit with the whole like i want things to be the way they used to be instead of this whole big peace mission so pretty much everything is just going to shit, basically. Seeing that we had some, you know, beautiful things at the start. Yay, new year. Yay, Sinclair is uh, is going to get married to Catherine. Um, it all seems great. We had this beautiful moment with Sinclair asking uh, Garibaldi if he wants to be his best man. And I was already, like, starting to tear up. We had Catherine asking Ivan Ivanova if she wants to be the maid it was all it was all yay and obviously i knew that things would turn bad i mean this is the season one finale come on now but i i don't know i don't think i was ready for whatever the hell i've just witnessed <laughs> this is quite the final chapter i mean this is the end of the first i guess novel four more novels to go god man i'm just wow Nah, I'm, you know, it, but I can't, I mean, I've said this multiple times, but again, acting very good. Also really liking the music, still do. And I like the old, uh, I guess, this constant thing that we get, you know, you're getting answers, but we're also getting new questions. They're, they're doing quite well with all the balancing. I'm not sure how I feel, though, about maybe never finding out what the Midbury we're doing or why with, with, with Sinclair or at least his I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm it's kind of frustrating like oh, I wish that he could have just had that talk with the Lynn but yeah just seems like typical life I don't know it was right there but then other things come into the way also Lanier also like it was definitely hard to see him so this this thought and cry about whatever is happening to uh, Delin, and he was also worried like what if you're wrong it was definitely hard to see but i did really like those moments between them um Yeah, I'm just a mess. <laughs> I'm I'm just trying to look for things that I'm missing. I probably am missing things, but Oh wait, wait, one more thing. Also, obviously, oh god, before I forget, thank god I reread my notes. But also Londo, um you know, the, the whole district what was it, thirty seven? Like the the outpost on there, the Nard outpost is destroyed. He made again, Londo made a deal with the devil, with the literal devil. And I was definitely surprised regarding his reaction. I'm not saying that I expected him to be like, like 100% like excited that so many non people have died. I'm just surprised that he seems genuinely shocked that all those people got killed. I'm just like, you know, I already said it, but like, did you really not think this could be the outcome? Did you really not think? I mean... Isn't the the most used way that people do, you know, to like use violence, kill people? You really thought that would happen? So at first I was like, "Come on!" But then, it's, like I said, he was he seemed generally shocked, and definitely not at it. Like, "Yay, the our people are dead!" No, he was definitely not happy about it or excited. He seems horrified, and I'm just curious: is he still going to be able to look into the mirror? Because I've been talking at the start of my messy review about Garibaldi and wondering how he's going to move 
well move on going to live with feeling this guilt or feeling that it's you know he's responsible that he could have prevented the president's death but what about what about londo what will this mean for him how is this gonna weigh on his onto his conscience like is this gonna make him like i don't know like this is also i guess another crossword i guess what does this mean for londo i'm not sure is he gonna be in denial about it? Is he gonna like totally embrace this whole like uh I guess what he used to well used to glorify his whole warrior like the past and the war and all of that? Uh, or is he also gonna I don't know, is he already gonna try to pull away? I mean the Morden he seems very convinced that he has Londo right now, you know? But I don't know. I, I, is did this did this break London's spirit? Or if I'm gonna continue, it, or am I not gonna see a difference? I'm very curious. I'm very curious. But this show this show has been very good so far. Its consequences and seeing the effect of of people's actions. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be something. And also, you know, what happens when the truth comes out? And then, uh, talking about crosswords earlier, we had Sinclair talking with uh, Jakar. And Sinclair expressed that he hoped, you know, he, he said, like, you know, we are on the cross crossroads, and he was hoping that he would, you know, make the right decision. And also made this, um, what is, is it, analogy? With abused children, that when they grow up, they, you know, like abused children who grow up, and then also start abusing people i was definitely shocked by that analogy i was i was i was definitely taken aback at first but then i was like okay i can see what you're saying here but like i said then i i didn't really have a lot of hope that jacquard would do what sinclair was hoping that he would do and we did get that confirmation at the end and jacquard is returned to his home world and he said he will be back but he's back so what's gonna happen there you know he wants he wants uh he wants vanquish Vanquish. Why can I never say that word? He wants revenge. He wants justice. He wants to know who is behind this. Is he gonna be able to find out the shadows, or is he just, or are we gonna have some kind of war already against the Nar? Because he did no, not the Nar against the Centauri. He did say like, nah, this is not. The, it's not the Centauri because they wouldn't have the, I guess, the guts to do this. But I don't know. I'm worried. So yeah, a lot of a lot of things are changing. I'm definitely not in the right, I guess, position at the moment. Am I ever to make uh, very good guesses or to totally comprehend what the hell I've just witnessed? But I'm definitely extremely intrigued. Mm, I'm very excited to see how this is going to continue. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. So I I've been uh, like I said, I've enjoyed season one a lot, and I think this is a good uh, finale curious for the next one yeah <laughs> all right let me just stop here thank you so much for watching bye